Super Rugby, 90 seconds, let's go. Andre Pollard covers the next edition of SA Rugby magazine. He tells my colleague John Cardinelli, I want to show what I can do. Andre, we know what you can do. This, remember people, is the best fly to come out to South Africa in longer than I care to remember. He's got everything, including the temperament to be one of the great Bok 10s. But he won't be. Damn you, Freire, you say. But hear me out. I don't think he's going to get much better than he is at present. And it's got very little to do with him and everything to do with the coaching crisis in South Africa. With all due respect to Nolis Murray, he's not the coach to take Pollard's game forward. He's a young coach, he's learning. Pollard needs more than what Nolis has to offer at this point in his career. Then, what about at test level? Well, Alistair Kutsia has been exposed as an imposter at that level. Him having Pollard is like Donald Trump having the nuclear codes. He'll warn all his political opponents about the power at his disposal, that he's actually got zero clue how to use it. Now this is really going to upset you. I think Pollock should leave and play abroad under a great coach. It's the best thing for his career and it's the best thing for the Springboks. This remember is the IRB 2014 Junior World Player of the Year. The players that came before him, Aaron Cruden, best fly-off in the world. Julian Savia, the best and most prolific winger in the world. George Ford, England's great next hope. Thing they had in common, great coaching. The only junior player of the year not to break through in the way the others have? Jan Serfontein. Damn, we have the habit of breaking our best young kids. And it's all because of our coaching inadequacies. This is just my view. I want to know what you think, so comment in the section below. By the way, more pain for Pollard at Newlands this weekend.